Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the street in Englington at a weekend street festival. We're gonna eat all kinds of stuff, jerk chicken, oxtail, grilled corn. Something just happened. Should we go find out what happened? Let's go find out why people are screaming. Usain won his heat in the semifinals. Very exciting, obviously, Usain Bolt, fastest man alive from Jamaica. Can I get a small jerk chicken meal? Thank you. Rice gravy coleslaw. And I get the chicken outside. Thank you. Hi. How you doing? What, go what goes in the sauce? No, it's a secret here. It's a secret? Okay. Secret you can't even tell me one thing that's in it? No, it's still good, man. It's still good. Oh. I'm so happy. Jerk chicken is a way of preparing it either with a dry rub or with a wet marinade. There's a lot of spices that go into it, but the main spices in jerk are uh, allspice and scotch bonnet peppers, and then you can also add all kinds of stuff. Cinnamon, cloves, garlic, salt. The chicken itself is very moist and tender. The outside of it is nice and charred from the grill. And then this sauce is this spicy, sweet sauce that tastes a lot like those little scotch bonnet peppers. You can really get a lot of clove and cinnamon, which gives it sort of like a weirdly almost Christmassy flavor. The result is kind of just like the ultimate barbecue chicken. The chicken is really good. I don't even really want to talk about it because I'm just enjoying eating it. This whole thing costs $7.35 Canadian. It's gonna be around six bucks for this. What a deal. Hi. Hi. Can I have a small um, oxtail? Thank you very much. Oxtail. This is just meat that has been stewed all the live long day. Tastes like carrots, tastes like onions, tastes like tomatoes, tastes like garlic. A little bit of allspice too. You know, so the oxtail is literally the tail of like a castrated male ox or steer. And the tail weighs like two or th three or four pounds. Pretty heavy. Like you could see as she was spooning it out, you know, it's sitting in a big tub of just juice and grease and fat. It's just stewed until it's like almost gelatinous, but it just tastes like a nice, tender, marinated piece of beef. It's like a hearty beef stew. That's where I got it. I got it inside. It's very good. That's my restaurant. It's yours? You want to tell, you want to tell me about it? Talk to me about the oxtail. You got to talk to me about the oxtail. What do you want to say? <laughs> Just tell me how you cook it. We use natural season. Okay. We blend our season. Uh -huh. We use like onion, pepper, garlic, ginger, uh -huh. let it just steam, cook. Uh -huh. Tip a little tip of water, water. Okay. A little bit of water. And when it's near to finish, we add the bean and a little ketchup. Okay. It's natural food you're eating. It's very and you good. are eating the best. It's outstanding. So you're eating it now. <laughs> I am eating it now. And I know I'm the one who cook it. <laughs> and good. this is Art Spot Restaurant. Mm -hmm. So whenever you come at Eglinton, you get the best jerk chicken in Australia. Diane, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. No better spokesperson. And I know you're enjoying it. <laughs> I am enjoying it very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to me. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Having grown up in the Midwest, nothing's ever really gonna compare to Midwest sweet corn. There's literally nothing better in the world, but this, this is, this is good. Corn's in my top five vegetables of all time. I love corn. I love corn. Hey, hey. my name is Lucas Quan Peterson, host of Dining on a Dime, and I sure do and love corn, and maybe you do too. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about the history of corn, please click here to watch the episode of Folklore that tells you all about the history of corn. The mythology around corn in the Americas is as much about how valuable corn is to humanity as it is about the nuts and bolts of growing it. 